and so you have to have a lot of experience, but haiku is a way to make it more approachable for people that aren't at that level yet, but want to get to that level, and so they use haiku for that purpose as well. So game-based training versus gamified. The summary is that game-based training is actually creating a game versus gamification where you're taking a traditional learning method and you're putting some game features on it, but you're not actually creating the game. The balance between having a game experience that gets somebody into the flow state to enhance their learning while still embedding learning engineering techniques and making sure everything they know is a real skill, while at the same time documenting what they're doing so that they can demonstrate to an educator or an employer exactly what it is. And that's what we've done with Haiku. We've spent years and uh, many millions of dollars developing the technology that is right there in the sweet spot. And we're continuing to develop games. We have our Forge capability that allows anyone to be able to build their own game-based training and get all the benefits of game-based training without having to invest all the time that we did. Where do I see it going from here? I think game-based training, I think it's going from bleeding edge to cutting edge to pretty much it's going to become the standard in two to three years. I think you're going to see a lot of cyber ranges being replaced by game-based training because it's far easier and faster to create a game-based training environment that actually has greater um, learning efficacy than a cyber range. We're actually working with the University of California, San Diego. We're creating a course based on Haiku, being taught off of Haiku specifically for cybersecurity. We're creating a boot camp with University of California, San Diego as well, that's doing the same thing to try to address the um, issue of boot camps that people pay huge amounts of money for, but don't have them graduating with real skills. Haiku, much like uh, Professor um, Von An's vision, has the ability to extend cybersecurity training to people who normally wouldn't be able to find it approachable. It's, because of their demographic, because of their geographic location, because of the cost of training, they weren't able to do it. Haiku is gonna be able to do this, and because of this, it should help address the job gap, the three and a half million uh, unfilled cybersecurity jobs by 2025 that we keep hearing about, increase the diversity, because video games are played by everyone. And certainly I see taking game-based training for, beyond just cybersecurity. You can teach a number of different skills through game-based training, and we should. Jane McGonigal was very prescient in her book, Reality is Broken, when she said, reality should be more like video games to make people enjoy life more. I would add to that, to allow people to learn things they might not otherwise be able to learn. That's the future of game-based training, and that's where we're taking it with IQ.